Welcome back, friends and frenemies, to another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, where we take public domain Japanese comics, English size them, and then make funny noises. I, sorry, that wasn't really funny. It was just a thump. I'm your host, translator, sound engineer, director, and unnecessary Homeric digression, Nicholas Tyson. Today, we have the second installment in our seven part Shochan mini series, the title of which you see right there. Shochan no Sonogo, or Shochan Thereafter. If you haven't seen the previous episode in this series, you can actually find a link to it in the description down below. But today we have Chapter 2, whose title is Mitsunoshiro, The Three Castles. Let's get to it. Our trio, now with their newfound friend Donkich, who smiles as he eats his breakfast and strikes up a conversation with Sho. I'm so glad we got a little brother now. Things sure have gotten more interesting around here. Can you take me on your next adventure, please? Yeah, that's the voice I'm going with. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> but Sho wondered whether it was such a good idea and thought maybe they should do something else instead. Now, if you hear what I have to say, you might not find adventuring to be so intriguing. So Sho started to tell the story of that ancient Greek tale, the Odyssey. That's right. When you hear this story, it might sound like a lot of fun at first, but... After winning the fight at Troy, Odysseus boarded his ship to return home in triumph. Along the way, he and his men discovered an island where magical women dwelled. Okay, it literally says uh, Majol, for those of you who can read the Japanese, which is more commonly witch, but I just don't want to translate it that way, so I'm going to say magical ladies. Oh yeah. On their island, they sang a song meant to lure men into a shipwreck. I, and only I, shall partake of these witches' song. Yeah, that's my Odysseus voice. <laughs> the oarsmen stopped their ears with wax while Odysseus lashed himself to the mast. And at last, they approached the magic island from which a beautiful song could be heard. But Sho had only gotten this far in his story when a terrible sound could be heard outside. Foreshadowing much? What? What was that? The trio were surprised because it was so unexpected, and when they went outside, there all around, white smoke was swirling, and they could see nothing ahead of them. <coughs> There's so much smoke. <laughs> this fog is no good. <laughs> it literally says, Yeah, boy, I did see. It's like, This fog is no good. Oh boy, that sucks. Shortly thereafter, from out of the smoke, there appeared a beautiful young princess. Whoa! Whoa! It's a princess! Yeah, the narration said that. <laughs> she pointed her finger toward something <laughs> high in the sky and began to sing a song. Uh, foreshadowing? Uh, foreshadowing? Uh. Sorry, I think that was my phone. <clears throat> The three of them were drawn to the song by a thread invisible to the eye. It's just like the witch's song in the story. It, it, yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, show. A wind blew in the princess's wake, and the three of them followed along like leaves on the breeze. D -d this is weird. It really is like your story. Eventually, the song came to a dead stop. The haze cleared, and they found themselves at the base of a hill. Looks like a princess disappeared. Before their eyes, there appeared three castles bathed in moonlight. What a lovely castle! Sorry, sorry that was sort of half show, half squirrel there. As they gazed upon it, the three of them felt like they were living in a dream. I'm so happy. You never see anything like... Sorry. I'm so happy. I've never seen anything like this before. On the castle furthest to the right, the gate quietly creaked open. But 
No one appeared to be inside. No, no I can do better than that. Um, but there was not even the shadow of a human being, which, interestingly, is actually closer to the Japanese. Somebody opened the gate, but no one's there. Our trio plucked up their courage and entered the gate to figure out what was going on. We might be quaking in our boots, but what other choice do we have? As they followed the castle's byways that stood quiet as the grave. It, it's weird how nobody's around. The castle? It looks pretty old. Then their eyes were opened to a large, beautiful, open hall. Amazing! Amazing! It's so amazing! It, it, it's so sparkly, like a diamond. At the far end of the hall sat a princess wearing a red dress, crying to herself. Hey, someone's here. Yeah, she, she's crying. The princess raised her countenance as Sho came close to ask what the reason was for her distress. What's the meaning of all this? <laughs> Ooh, wow. <laughs> Look at those beautiful pictures. <laughs> she said, I am the mistress of this castle, and I have two younger sisters. Beyond these walls, you can see two more castles, a blue one and a yellow one, and each of my two sisters lives within one and the other. But when the three castles were attacked by a great evil, we were powerless to defend ourselves and begged for someone to come aid us. Please help protect us and our three castles. Thus, after consulting with the princess, Sho made the decision to protect the castle they were in by himself. Okie dokie, I'll take this one. Our two remaining companions each went to the other two castles. I'll head over to the blue one. Oh boy, my first adventure. And scene. Well, that's the end of this chapter and thus our story for today. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. And if you really like this video, you can support my work on Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash it came from the manga, all one word. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links for which can be found in the description below. I will be back, hopefully, in the near future with another episode, but I have to admit that uh, a full teaching schedule is really kind of kicking my butt. <sighs> Until then, as always, do not let the man get you down. Bye. Bye.